Okay, so for my brows, I was using the Refi Brow Sculpt, and this was just basically TikTok made me buy it. I haven't had any issues with any buy brow products, but I wanted to try something different because I always use the same things. So I was like, let me try this out. My brows are microbladed, so they do have a little bit of a shape going. This is honestly not necessary, but like I said, TikTok. <laughs> TikTok made me buy it. So I just like apply the, is it a gel? I just apply it to the brows. And the brush side, the thicker brush, I just kind of like push it into the hairs and flatten it. This is just going to give you that laminated look. The NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. And uh, this is the shade Espresso. I do these like hair like strokes. I don't really need to do this part in the towards the front, but I do anyway. Just add some more hairs. Oops. Then I do then I use the benefit precisely my brow in number four, shade four. And just like draw the outline of my brows. Then with my concealer, this is the Too Faced concealer in the shade Chestnut. I'm now just gonna like shape and outline the bottom. For the top, I use mahogany. I don't think the refi is necessary. It doesn't like stick the pairs like down, doesn't like lock it in. I think ABH have um, their own version, like a brow freeze or brow gel, a new brow gel thing. So I wanna try that out. So let's move on to my foundation. Yeah, my skin has not been great. I have been putting off like beauty videos just because like I just don't like the way my skin looks. I don't know if it's to do with my anemia that my skin has become just so dull and um, I did do a chemical peel a couple months ago and it didn't work and usually that chemical peel is one of the strongest ones and I just didn't do anything so I'm like maybe it's internal maybe it's hormones because my skin just hasn't yeah it's just it's not the one I'm really hoping this year I can tackle it I do have another appointment this week with a different um, dermatologist so hopefully that works out I don't know but I'm just not happy like I've been so down about it I just don't want to do anything related to beauty but I know a lot of you still ask for videos so I don't know it's either I just skip foundation altogether just like start my videos from there I don't know but it's not great so for my primer which also doubles up as my primer which also doubles as a SPF. I use a Super Goop Matte Screen. This is SPF 40 and it, it does have a tint. 
so it does make your face look a little bit gray but it doesn't show through the foundation but this I have found does keep my face matte as you can see it's very it's kind of white so I just put it in the areas that I feel like I need it which is which are my t-zone and like my nose my chin it's very ashy but like I said it does help to like control the oil it does keep your foundation matte my foundation I I still been using the NARS soft matte I did try a couple other foundations I tried the Mario one it's just not for me when it comes to I just like my foundations matte I have oily skin and all those although it was a nice foundation I just I didn't like the look of it. I thought that I do actually color correct. And this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Corrector. Just to get rid of my gray ashy tones under my eyes, around my mouth. NARS Soft Matte. I'm using this Dull Beauty foundation brush. I really like this brush. I love how it feels on the skin. Just nice and buffs it in. Usually, I would just apply sunscreen, which is my Bondi Sands. And then I will use the Super Goop as my primer, which is pretty much me double sunscreening. So my face would look matte before I apply my foundation. But yeah, today, because my face was looking so dull, I had to put on like some moisturizer just so that I didn't look like a ghost on camera. And then if I still feel like I need, still need some color correcting under my eyes, I go in with the mahogany concealer just a little bit and just try and uh, blend this. The shade I use for the what a beauty. Color correct is papaya. This is the skin that I wish I had. Like flawless like this. Like I won't apply it. Like I wouldn't need foundation, but you know, one can dream. Years ago I was able to, I don't even remember what I used, but my skin was so clear, like spotless. And then it took another turn. So I don't know. I don't know what else to do. A lot of people were going crazy for the Hourglass concealer and for me, I just, I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling it. I was not feeling it. I don't know if I needed to give it some more tries, but I just wasn't feeling it. I will give it a few more tries, but right now I'm going to keep it going. So I'm going to go, I'm going to use chestnut. Apply that to the bridge of my nose, forehead, Cupid's bow. And obviously my under eye a little bit on the side and then I go in with mocha which is a little bit lighter than chestnut and add that like next to it To contour, I'm using the Kat Von D concealer. I'm not sure what it's called. But KVD Beauty Concealer and their Longwear Concealer, the shade 187. I'm just going to place that under my cheeks and just top of my forehead. Taking the Morphe E8 brush. Apparently this brush is discontinued, which is sad because it's a really good brush. I kind of wish I got an extra, an extra one. 
but there are a few dupes of this brush. I use the Juvia's Place bronzing powder to contour. This is the palette in deep dark or dark deep, deep dark. And I'm just gonna use that to set my contour areas. I'm gonna set my under eye using the Huda Beauty powder in the shade Blondie. Using that powder to also contour my nose. And I've been using this like triangle powder puff from the brand Trigwall Cosmetics to set those areas. Then to set my entire face, I'm using this Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is the shade 65 Toffee. And I'm just gonna merge everything together. Just gonna give myself more of a sculpted cheekbone. So I'm just adding some of that powder under my cheeks I'm just going to go back again with that contour powder I'm not adding any more product, I'm just using that just to kind of merge the two so there's no obvious like line for my blush I'm going to use the Juvia's Place blushed palette this is number volume 6 and I'm going to take this orange shade with this Morphe brush, I think it came in a set. I'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks. If there's any areas that I feel like I still need to like highlight, I'll use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish Powder uh, Medium 2 just to make sure it's like, yeah, just to kind of like just add some extra something. This is my base done. I'm now going to move on to my eyes and just obviously just highlight my nose and stuff like that. Still my go-to eye primer. This is the Open Decay. This is like the OG of OG primers. And I just feel like, I mean, if it works, why, why change it? So I still use this to prime my lids. I've also been doing a lot of like matte shadows lately. I just take this, I take a random, just like any light brown shadow. This is from the Morphe 35V palettes. It's quite, I think it's an old palette now. I don't think they still do this. I just take like a medium brown and use that as my transition shade. I still do my halo technique as my eyeshadow technique because it just works for me. 
I have like really small eyes in terms of the fact that my crease starts stuck down here. So I do this technique just so that I can give the illusion of like a bigger lid space and my eyes just seem to look better that way. So I do the transition color first. I could just leave it like this, but I tend to go a little deeper. Just take another brown, like a darker, just a slightly darker brown and put that in my crease. So I, I give like a, I give myself a higher crease. I can feel my eyeball. So I just kind of put it where I feel like I want as high as I want it. I mean, I use the, again, another busted eyeshadow palette. I use the Juvia's Place Chocolates palette. I really thought I had to, but I can't find my new palette. So I'm still using this. I've obviously hit pan. This is the brown that I use the most. And then I go in with this shade or any matte shade really, and put that on my lid like so. And just like creating my shape. And then just use that brown shadow again and just kind of blend the inner and outer corner. And this creates my halo, halo effect. Then I highlight, I'm using my um, Black Up collab. I, for those who don't know, I did a collaboration with Black Up Cosmetics and I created this highlighter palette. Not entirely sure if they still sell this, but I still have a few left. So I'm gonna take this champagne, put it on the inner corner, I also put it um, on my nose as well. And my Cupid's bow. Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara, still my all time fave. MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil For the Beauty Trendsetter Liquid Lipstick NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fudge Me So yeah, that is the finished look. I will list everything down below as per usual. I know I'm saying it again, but I'm gonna try to be more intentional on YouTube, especially um, like my beauty videos. I know you guys still ask for them. So I thought I'd do like my, I guess it's an updated foundation routine, full face. I hope this helped you. If you are wondering how I get this face, this is pretty much what I do. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.